I mean, just tell us what you thought. We, we talked Thursday, you said you needed 15 practices. So what did you see at practice 15? What did you see out of the other 14 that you can evaluate? Yeah, the, the pleasing thing for me was clean football, you know, relatively clean football. I thought all three uh, quarterbacks operated. I'm not saying we made all the right decisions or all the right throws, but I thought we operated pretty well. Um, I was pleased defensively. We came back in the second half and played um, more like we're capable of playing on that side of the ball. Uh, we were purposefully vanilla um, on each phase. Um, but but I was pleased. Um, I think we came out of it healthy, didn't have any injuries. Um, and I thought some, some people that we needed to play well today and perform well. You know, started Aubrey Burks with his interception on defense. Thought Lee Koba uh, showed up in, you know, I don't know how many tackles he had, but I thought he was he was productive. You know, Charles Woods had a good spring. He had a good spring, he had a good spring game. You know, I think our D-line, um, we didn't do as much what they're good at as far as moving them, but I think you know, they, they were solid. You know, I thought some of the younger D-linemen, Torres Simmons, I uh, thought he did a nice job today. Um, at the bandit position, Jared and, and Linnell, you know, they, each of them probably, if we were playing a real game, they probably had a couple more sacks. Um, and I'm proud of the, the growth that, that those two guys have had. And then offensively, you know, I think the receivers were productive. We, were, we feel good about those guys, you know, and, and I thought they were productive. Um, yeah, I think a couple of those second, second group of O-linemen, you know, I thought Jordan White was good today, and that, and that was a positive step for him. Is it difficult to get a – Really good read on the running game when you're, you know, yeah. more tagging and thudding rather than that to see who can, you know, break tackles, do some yeah. of those end to run with, things. with the first group of offense, without without question, and and it's always risk reward on that, as far as, you know, do you tackle, do you not tackle? Um, we just made the decision, hey, with that first group that we weren't, that we were just going to thud it, um, but without question, that that plays to the defensive hands because they, you know, they're just getting in position. You know, they're not having to finish the play. Um, but it is harder to run the ball. And, we, and, and purposely, I don't know what our stats were, but we wanted to, on purpose, um, put some pressure on the quarterbacks and throw the ball more today than we normally would. Fox been that uh, productive all spring? He's been productive. We put him on scholarship in the in the locker room. So, like, those are some of the, the best moments is parents came in the locker room and – and he earned a scholarship. He's been he's been super productive. You know, the next steps for him is he's got to do it versus versus the top guys. Um, but but really pleased with him. You know, he's a guy that that had an opportunity, um, and and he made the most of that opportunity over these fifteen practices, and he he earned the the scholarship. They earned award Nick Malone. What have you seen out of Nick? Not just this spring, but through his career that helped him. Yeah. So Nick is a is a guy that. You know, he was, you know, he came, we kind of recruited him there early on in 19 when we first got here, um, an athletic guy that was thin. And what he's done is he's really worked on his body over the last three years to put himself in a position where right now we feel like he can be a quality backup. And um, he played a tight end on field goal all year last year. Uh, he played tight end in the last two games of the season. Um, and – He's he's done extremely well in the classroom. Um, he's worked. He's been absolutely no issue, and and he's grown into a player. So that was a that was an award that that over the course of the last three years that he's really earned. Not not necessarily anything over the spring, but over the the accumulation of how he's how he's worked over three years. You know, the two players coming out of out of halftime, the uh, uh, the Bryce, Floyd, Floyd mm -hmm. Wheaton, uh, well. What what kind of uh, hope does that give for a for big for for big play offense? Well, that that's something we've got to improve on, Bob. I mean, there, we've we've talked about explosive plays. It's something that when we won last year, you know, we had those, and and when we didn't, and when we played some of the better defenses that we played, you know, we struggled with that, and we've got to be able to do it. We feel like we got length, not only Bryce but Caden Prather. Um, and that's something we've put a lot of time and effort into over the spring. They're going to have to continue that work on their own over the summer. But, you know, Bryce, is, Bryce has really been on an upward trajectory his whole career. You know, he registered the year before we came. His first year he played a little bit, played more as the year went. Second year in 20, there were some, there were some really high points. I thought last year he's more consistent, and now I think you'll see his production continue to increase. Where do you go from here? I mean, you've gone through the – Winter conditioning. Now this part, 
where do you need to be by the time you get them back in August? Yeah, so we've got one week of classes left, and we'll do some things this week um, to finish up the semester, and then you got finals. And then you get about three weeks off. Not all of them. Some of them will be here, but a good percentage of them will get three weeks. I think it's important. You know, that's the this has become a year-round, you know, and this is their biggest chunk of time is, is during the May. And they put in so much work, they, do, they deserve some. And, and your body needs some time to recoup. And, then, you know, this is – They've gone eight weeks in the weight room and, and through conditioning, and they've gone five weeks of practice and, and lifting on the off days. And so they'll get a little break, and then when we come back, we'll bring them back on Memorial Day, and we got nine weeks to get eight in. And so I think the summer is going to be really important for us. You know, we're going to add, you know, I think 18 more people to the mix on scholarship, another 15 or so um, that are going to be preferred walk-ons. So, um, you know, we got to get them acclimated, and we've got we've got some guys that are younger players that can must continue to develop um, as we go through the summer. You know, you said you wanted your quarterbacks to be in some pressure spots today. Just a you know final judgment, of especially the, the top three there. Yeah, just watching them behind, which is sometimes misleading a little bit. But watching them today, I thought I thought Goose Crowder that was the best day he's had all spring, which is encouraging. Uh, you know, in a in a game like atmosphere, that was his that was his best day. I thought he he made some nice throws down down the field. Uh, he got off to a good start, you know, um, which which was is also good to see. You know, and um, I thought Garrett, you know, had the bad interception where he he didn't do a good job with the safety there, but he made some plays with his feet. And I thought you know, I thought he showed some accuracy on some intermediate throws, something that he's we, he needed to improve on. Um, I thought Nico had some flash plays, you know, and. And today, you know, it's – and I've said this, and I'm not thinking up for him or anything, but like he's got really good ability. But he's a high school senior, you know what I mean? Like, in, and he's going to be a lot better in fall camp. And we've got to continue to, to work and continue to teach him the offense and teach him defense. And he – like the summer uh, player practices are going to be critical for him because he'll get reps against fast people. And the more reps he gets, the better he's going to be. But I thought he showed some signs running the football today, which was good. That's how he played in high school. Um and and I thought he got hit and got back up and and had good energy. You know, you wanted to change offensively. There were certain aspects that you said had to be different, but better, I guess, you were working um, Can you just step back now and look at and say this looks different? This looks more like what we want? Are there? Are well, there yeah, I think that the one thing we've got to do is be more explosive. I think that's what we've and. We've got to be more consistent running the football versus quality people. I think those are the two main improvements we've got to do along with taking care of the football. Change of scheme is not going to affect taking care of the football, but I think the other two can. And and so and then I thought it was really important that um, that we had a different voice in that room. And what Graham's done, he's br- he's brought a, a confidence. Um, you know, he's got um, good swagger without, but he's humble. You know, and, and I think that's been a really fe- effective in that room. Um, and some of our older guys are really some of our best workers, and they were re- they've been really productive, and I think that helps. So um, I feel good about where we're at offensively as we hit the summer. Do we have to get better? Yes. You know, we need some depth at some positions, probably so. But I do like our mix. Um and I think we made strides on those explosive plays like Bob Ask and our consistency running the football. Offensive line, your analysis after spring, I mean, you'd hope with the experience that they would produce. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, yeah, they, this is the best that we've ran the football. Um, you know, and I think that um, Jaquay Hubbard and Jordan White made strides, which is something that we needed. You know, I think that Nick Malone, is somebody that you asked about earlier, but he continues to show, you know, and and so those were those were positives, and that that's a that's a group. I think it speaks really highly of that group. Two of those guys won the Iron Mountaineer, you know, which shows kind of kind of what they're doing in the off season and how they're working to put themselves in a position to be successful. I asked you at the beginning of the spring about offensive line, defensive line identity. You were hesitant to really talk about that. Where are they now? Are they? what you see from the defense, D-line, offensive line, O-line, offense? Yeah, well, I think that both both sides, you know, front line, we have a chance. You know, I think if you can be – if if you're big and physical up front on on, on both sides, you get, you got a chance to win games. Now, what we've got to do is we've got to continue to work on the depth. 
and some of those younger guys got to continue to get stronger. You know, and that's why it's so critical over the next, you know, next run here that we continue to, to get our weights where they need to be and our strength where they need to be. Okay, anything else? All right. Thanks, Coach. Yep, thank you all.